here today. I went to Costco and I got some chicken legs right out of the oven or whatever that thing is they cook them in. And I also got a salad. But I want to eat as many of these chicken legs as I can. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So let me say my grace. Father God, I thank you for this food. We're about to receive your blessings, your kindness, your mercy, and your grace. All of your provisions you made upon my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So, um, I went into Costco. Hey there, Miss Sheila. I went into Costco and this man and this old lady was parked next to me and they came out and they popped the trunk. It kind of scared me. And he was like, did I scare you? Hey, Miss Mary. And I was like, yeah. And he must have seen the signs on my car. He was like, hey, Vanessa, how you doing? And he was like, I'm living a dream too. He said he's a musician and God has afforded him to be able to travel around and Mm. Let me give y'all one. Hey, Miss Ganesh. So I just told him we blessed to be a blessing. Hey, Miss J. I like the legs better. And it's seasoned good. You can't eat the skin. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen legs for seven dollars and seventeen cents. I don't remember ever getting where they were stacked on top of each other. So I ate two already. I'm gonna see how many I could eat. Mm. That's good. Y'all thumbs up the video. How was y'all day today? Hey, Miss Joanne. Your day was good. You took a vacation. It's 
So I can, you been cleaning and relaxing? How many of these uh, legs y'all think I'm gonna eat? It's 14. Do y'all eat the fat? How many of y'all think I'm going to eat? About eight. Miss Mary, you greedy. Three or four. I've already eaten three. I'm not going to eat any salad. That chicken looks amazing. Hey, that unknown. Oh, let me. Let me show y'all. Um. Uh, close-up of the chicken. Don't they look good, y'all? Mmm. Look at that seasoning. Look at that seasoning, y'all. Thumbs up the video. I've already eaten three. Working on the fourth one. Miss Mary said eight. I don't know. If I eat eight, I'm going to be surprised. But I might could eat eight. How you doing? Mm. That's for this fire. This fire. Y'all, I found out who sent me the wig. Miss Miller sent me this beautiful wig. It's red. It got a lot of pink curls in it, but I could just probably shake it. I'm gonna try it on. I'm probably gonna do a video on trying it on. We gonna put some makeup on one day. Y'all, I'm probably going to take my solar panel off the van tomorrow. And put all three of them on. I'm going to be getting ready to 
go out of town. I don't know, this end of this month. Maybe by next month. Or the end of this month. I'm going to slowly travel and make my way to another state. We're going to see where I end up at. I don't know where I'm going to end up at, but... I'm going to slowly make my way to another state. When I got these uh, chicken legs last time, I got some for my friend, and she liked them. I'm getting full. So I ate six. Six. This is my first meal of the day. So I'm probably going to eat something else later tonight. You can eat about five. So I ate six, y'all. And I'm full. I'm going to finish this one. And that's going to be it. I ordered my smart battery isolator kit. So I got this in the mail. I'm going to be putting this on this weekend. Sometimes it'll charge my batteries while I'm driving. So I probably maybe could eat two more, Miss Mary, but I don't want to stuff. I don't want to stuff myself. I'd rather wait like an hour or two. Hey, Miss Miller. Miss Miller, I showed everybody my wig. I'm going to try it on just to show y'all how it look. But I'm going to do a video. I got some beautiful curls in it. The 
look at that. Look at how pretty it is, y'all. Let me take, let me see. I'm just going to try it on. It's not combed out or anything. I'm not going to comb it out right now, but the curls have fallen a little. Now the curls, you got to take the curls out and everything and, and style it. I didn't style it. I'm not going to style it. I'm going to make that a separate video. But it's going to be so bouncy and pretty, y'all. So, thank you, Miss Miller. If it good. If you have a bigger head than mine, it will still fit you because it, it got some room and some stretch. I would say it's big girl head friendly. I got a little small acorn head and no hair on my head. So if you have hair, but this is going to be pretty. Uh, mm, mm, mm. So I'm going to do a video. I'm going to put me some makeup on. And I'm gonna wear this wig soon. So, so mm, mm, mm. yes, thank you, Miss Miller. Thank you, Miss Miller, Miss Miller, and Miss Mary, and a couple of my other subscribers. Some of them want to remain anonymous. they are so good to me thank you and i appreciate y'all so much thank y'all for everything y'all helped me do y'all let's get five more thumbs up i love the color tasty i'm gonna put me some makeup on miss miller say that chicken look good Uh, Miss Mary say you look cute. And everybody likes my little bonnet, y'all. I was, uh, I went inside a business the other day. And ugh, the lady was like, I love your bonnet. I was like, thank you. I think I'm going to sew this thing on there where it can't move. I would like to keep it in one place or put a clamp or something where it can't move because I don't want it to slide out because right now it could just slide out. I don't like that. But my friend said she wanted one of these too. She said she liked it. And she wanted one. Now, Miss Miller, you wouldn't even walk out the house with a cute one like this. Y'all wouldn't walk out the house with a cute decorative bonnet. It's kind of like not a bonnet. It's kind of like more of a fashion head dress. Hey, Simply Me. Hey, Lorders. How y'all doing? Hey, God's child.
agarra. I got some meat in my teeth. But anyway, y'all, I was just talking to y'all. Uh, I'm probably going to go live on my other channel too. I just want to eat right quick. And I'm probably going to end up... Uh, eating some more chicken later tonight. I might eat like two or three more pieces later tonight. I need to buy me some Ambi and put on my dark spots that I be picking it. And I might go somewhere and get my eyebrows arched one day. Hey, God's child. I hope y'all had a good day today. What y'all want to talk about? Let's talk for about 15, 20 more minutes. What y'all want to talk about? Anybody got? Something on their mind? Anything happened to you today? Oh, let me take my vitamins. I ain't took my vitamins, y'all. I've been a bad girl. See, I told y'all. I take my vitamins. That's a reminder to take yours. Hey, Miss Brittany, did uh, did y'all take y'all vitamins today? Where's the juice? Oh Lord, I just had to swallow that swallow that iodine. Without no juice. I couldn't find my juice. Y'all don't forget to take y'all vitamins. What do y'all want to talk about? Hey, Miss Christina. Oh, 17 minister, mini, mercenaries got kidnapped in Haiti. They are demanding 17 million to free the missionary group. I know B Love and Nate had talked about that the other day. Pray for the missionaries. So the missionaries, I mean, the, uh, the kidnappers finally let it be known what they want. 17 million dollars sad kids are with them anybody else heard any more updates on it miss Ganise, say i saw that god's child so sad 17 million and then it's no guarantee that they still ain't gonna kill them people hey uh tyra I am finding you. Seventeen million dollars. What's the deadline? Them kidnappers look scary. Oh, they showed the kidnappers. They showed the kidnappers. So what's the deadline that they have? They also will 
just can't wait until Thanksgiving. Good as well. Can't wait. Do y'all think they should pay the ransom? I think stuff like that, my personal opinion, I don't think we should pay the ransom. Because they're going to go around kidnapping people every time you look around if they think they could get away with it. Do you think we should pay the ransom? It's a gang in Haiti. They are a gang, yeah. They were on TV talking. When kids are involved, yeah, adults should know better. Yes, that's why they don't ever pay. Oh, so you don't think we're going to pay? Nobody going to pay? We're supposed to pay for that. Who is supposed to pay for that? Mm. So do y'all think when kidnappers kidnap people that the government should pay the ransom? I don't think they will pay. Mm. They must think they're going to get some money from somewhere. If they kidnap them people, they think they're going to get some money from somewhere. No, why should the government get involved? For kids, yes. Miss Christina, unfortunately, even with the kids involved, we could give them the money and they still harm everybody. I highly believe it because that big storm and those hundreds of lives plus thousands of property. You highly believe what? You highly believe what? God's child. True. I personally would not succumb to the demands of anybody trying to uh, what do they call it? Trying to get money from me. I personally wouldn't succumb to their demands because once you give them that money, they could ask for more or they can still hurt them. And who's to say they already haven't hurt them? You don't make deals with the devil. Whatever the devil gonna do, the devil gonna do it anyway. That's just me. If the devil know he has leverage over you, then he gonna try to keep, they gonna keep kidnapping people all over the world. If you give in to one kidnappers demand, then everybody gonna be doing it. I know you guys, but when you become a missionary and you go to another country, that's a chance that you take that you might be held as a hostage and you make that decision to put your life in jeopardy like that it's sad that people will kidnap people that are in their country to try to help i am late just got off of work welcome verna that big storm that happened in haiti where hundreds of people got killed and thousands of properties got ruined. I believe they retaliated from that. Well, and didn't I hear that they assassinated the president? How long ago has it been that they assassinated the president? Hey, T.S. How you doing, sweetie? 
Do anybody know how long it's been since they assassinated the president? They only kidnap Americans. That's why government's asking Americans not to travel to Haiti. We are cool and you. I'm doing just fine. Just got through eating. That is a sad situation. You're right, though. It's risky to do missionary work. You take up when you sign up for missionary, you may hold on, y'all. I thought my phone was charging. Hold on, I thought my phone was charging as we speak. I bought a big bag of salad, y'all. Hold on. Let me see if it's charging. Let me try this thing again. It's not charging, y'all. Well, my phone is dying. And I don't know why it's not charging. I don't know why it's not charging. I got it on a charger. Hold on, let me try something else. phone I charge it. Let me try one more thing. Okay, let me see if that's gonna work. If not, we're gonna have to end this live. Oh, that's not working. Not working, y'all. My phone won't charge up. So I'm gonna end this live and I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and hit always. I'm going to let my phone charge up and I'm probably going to go live on the other channel. Thumbs up the video, y'all. We need four more thumbs up to get to 30 thumbs up. So let me let my phone charge up and I'll be live later. Bye now. Thanks for watching Vanessa's Van Life Journey.